So it sounded like, uh, Isabella, that you kind of distrust the angelic realm. I was wondering um, if you could elaborate a little bit on that. Yeah, I distrust the angelic realm since I observed that the beings that run their incarnation cycle very often present themselves as that. And so I don't really, because it is hard to know for sure if it is the really an angel, an angel or uh, if it is something that is posing as an angel, then yeah. I would I would exercise caution and plus what is an angel anyway to begin with you know if you look at if you just ask that question what did they do and if you look at the old stories they served the gods they were on this planet dealing with humanity in one way or another they were the messengers angel literally means the messenger bringing the message of some sort that's it. That was their that was their purpose to um, go between the powers that were the powers were that were running uh, the whole human experience and bring the messages to the humans and also sometimes help make sure that the human beings survive the terrible accident so that they continue living in the physical world, for example. So at this point. I'm not exactly very comfortable with the angelic realm because I question, I have a lot of questions about that realm. I don't, I'm not inviting anyone to change their beliefs and, and start believing as I do. I went through all kinds of levels of awareness and all kinds of levels of believing this and then believing the next thing. And I arrived at the point to realize that I don't really know anything for sure. And I really need to uh, question everything, question. So I encourage all of you not to take my word for any of what I just said, but to question it and find out for yourself. And once you know for yourself, that would, is going to be your set of beliefs. Well, one of them is really different. Um, it's a Catholic guy from Buenos Aires. He got in a car accident when he was six, and now he's yeah. talking to angels jeshua and and divine mother mary and he channels this stuff he's written six books right. and he says that when you cross over jesus is there and he asks you do you want to come with him or not and if you say yes you're out of there you're out you're with him and that's the end of it you're out of the cycle of reincarnation everything and i think that's somewhat typical of some of the jeshua people and i'm just wondering if you had a reaction to that that is very interesting because that is exactly what was shown in the Star Trek episode where the Archon is asking Jane, come with me, come with me. And she kind of first goes because she thinks it's her father. And then she's like, oh, wait a minute, where am I going really? And so she doesn't go. <laughs> so I don't really know, did that person come back? Or, or if that person went with the apparition, we don't know what the story is. If that, because he didn't, he didn't return to tell the story. If the person didn't go with the apparition and came back to tell the story, then we don't really know where the apparition is inviting that person. So, hey, I have no comment on, on that either way. But yeah. I just kind of look, how many people... How many people believe in Jesus? How many people have accidents? How many people have near-death experiences? Do you think that the consciousness of Jesus is really has nothing else to do but to hang out and wait for all of these souls to greet them one-on-one, -on -one, to talk to them one-on-one, -on -one, invite them God knows where one-on-one, -on -one, and just he is just sitting there waiting or multiplicity of that representation just sitting there in the afterlife dimension waiting for the next soul to have an overdose or to have a, a near-death experience have i you, just don't see it that way have you seen betty j Eady's book embraced by the light which like came out 30 years ago that was the first introduction i had to all of this and she, uh, Jesus was right there when she crossed over. Right. And the description that she has of Jesus is just mind-boggling. I mean, it's 
she talks about like she had thousands of questions and they're all answered like in one instant and yeah. you know the quality and the depth of the love and all of that kind of stuff and you're left thinking no way this is bullshit no way you know but that was i was real young when i read that and who knows uh, i haven't read it since but i, I, I thought it was sort of a seminal book for this type of inquiry yeah and that's beautiful it's a beautiful description but you will have the same exact experience if you go into the void if you go into the state of samadhi which is also going into the void you will inc you will come back knowing everything you need to know you'll receive all the answers you had at the same time and have awareness of the entire universe at the same time all the answers at the same time you come back into your body you'll have all your answers right there because you brought them from that field of information and you also experience the love beyond anything that could be described jesus as a human being was saying he was the son of god so if we take the ultimate the infinite field of information or the um, the field of omnipresence the field of source as god jesus had access to that he is a he is a result of that consciousness physicalized in the through that soul in that body right there so he can be bringing this kind of um outcome as well but if you go into the state of samadhi, you will experience the same exact thing as what you just described, that person experienced through the representation of Jesus. State of samadhi that you just described, this is the prerequisite for getting out of the trap, right? Not necessarily prerequisite, but it definitely helps because you go into the state of samadhi as in the state of the void. From there, you can actualize into any reality any reality but just just decide which reality before you are in that uh soup of of source energy because when you are in the soup of source energy you will not have the brain to decide or to think about it you will just be the energy of everything